Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Site Blogger, and today I have another Canva tutorial. So, um, recently someone asked me how I create or how I prepare some of the screenshots on my blog. So, for example, if I hop onto my blog, super zoomed in. <laughs> um, so this is one of my blog posts, for example, and I use a lot of screenshots on my blog post because I often write about tutorials of various software and program, and it's useful to capture screenshots of certain things that I'm um, trying to teach my readers. And then I prepared those screenshots um, by adding things to it, like for example, for example, this one. This is a screenshot of my Medium um, page. And I believe the blog post is about researching publications on Medium. So I was showing my readers how to research topics and publications based on topics. So as you can see on this screenshot, I have a red arrow and a rectangular shape. If you follow my um, mouse, uh, the yellow blob. Um, that's my mouse. And so these are these arrows and um, rectangular shapes. These are things that I have added on top of my screenshot. And somebody wanted to know how I do them. What's my process? And uh, the process is actually very simple. So for example, this one here, there are like three different arrows going. Um, so these are useful to um, captures readers' attention to certain things, certain parts of the screenshot. Because without these arrows and uh, rectangles, it's kind of like it blends into the background. The screenshots kind of blend into the background. So in order to properly explain certain things or functionalities of a program or a platform, these types of arrows and rectangular shapes kind of to guide the reader's eyes to certain parts of a thing. Um, or certain parts of a screenshot is very useful. So I kind of want to show you today how to do all of those things using Canva. Sometimes I do them using Photoshop too. If I'm already, if I have Photoshop open um, and I'm home, I'm on my home computer. I will use. I might use Photoshop. But if I'm working on my laptop uh, from a coffee shop where, um, and if my laptop doesn't have Photoshop in it. Um, then um, I can just do them on Canva. So let me show you how to do these on Canva. So I actually captured a screenshot already, which I saved on my computer um, from this Medium page. So let's say, let's assume that um, I want to show my earnings, my Medium earnings to my readers, and I want to grab a screen capture of this. So. Um, I'm on Chrome right now, Chrome browser, and I have a Chrome extension called, um, I believe it's called Easy Screenshot that I use to capture screen um, screenshots. Um, so I'm just going to capture this portion like so. And then it's already, it's automatically saved in my computer. So now I'm going to go back to Canva. And this is Canva, and um, I'm just going to click Create a Design. Now, when you click Create a Design on Canva, it gives you different options like built-in doc types um, that's available to you that you can click and start, you know, it, it creates a design um, in a certain dimensions based on what design you have chosen, what doc type you have chosen. Um, or you can also use Custom Size, where you click Custom Size and then you um, you know, give it a size, width, and height if you know what kind of, what size you want. But oftentimes when I'm working with screen captures, I don't want to specify a custom size because I don't always know what the size is. And it's going to be, it's, it's cumbersome to go and find out the size of the screenshot and then come here and do a custom size. It's a lot of work. So instead, what I do is I click Create a Design, and then I click import file right right over here so when i click import file it opens up you know a folder in my uh, computer and you can choose whichever folder you saved your screenshot in but it automatically opened up downloads for me because it knows that um you know i use downloads um often so um 
here it is. Here's the screenshot I just captured. And now what? Now you have a couple of different options. You can click use in a new design. You can click add to a new template or add to a template. Now I know from experience not to click any of those because when you click use in a design, the purple button here, it just opens up more option, more doc type options, and it asks you to specify a dimension for your design. I don't want that because like I was saying, I just want to work with whatever dimension the screenshot is. Now, I don't want to do add to a template either because I'm not adding it to a template. I'm just, you know, I'm just going to add uh, some arrows and some shapes here. So no, no template. What I want to do is I want to go to the left corner, left bottom corner and click edit photo. And when you do that, it opens up the editing window. Now the editing window, uh, curiously, has a lot of things that, you know, the effects, adjust, crop, these are all good tools. And if you're editing like a photo or something, then it's very useful. Um, you can, if you want to like remove background or, you know, use some kind of filter or maybe adjust uh, the contrast, shadows or whatever, uh, this, this area is, this is where you do it. Or let's say that you want to crop the screenshot that you have already um, captured, then you can use the crop function too. So for example, let's say that I took the screenshot, but I don't want so much margin. So I can, I want to make it a little more compact like so, so I can crop it. And when you're done, click done. Good. Now here's the thing. I want to be able to add um, arrows and shapes, and I don't have an option to add those shapes here. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go and click use in a design over here. Now, remember that I didn't use use in a design in the previous step because it was giving me, um, it was prompting me to choose a image dimension size. But from here, from this window, when you click use in a design, it doesn't prompt me to, you know, click a dimension or anything. It just creates a new design based on the image dimensions, the screenshot dimensions, which is what I want. So once I'm in a new design, just like any design, I will just go to elements and then I can add those shapes and those arrows. So for example, I'll go to lines and shapes and I have different shapes available here. I might use an arrow like so if I'm trying to get my reader's eyeballs on my earnings here. Um, I can just use an arrow like that. I can even change the color, which is what I prefer usually. Um, the red color is very striking and it's a, it's a contrasting color. So often the red color gets people's eyes to the thing that I want them to look at. So I often use red for that. And I may even add like a, a rectangular shape to kind of um, highlight my earnings. So I will use a rectangular shape and then I'll just um, change some colors. For example, the background, I want the background to be transparent. And I also want it to have a border style. So I'll click the border style here and I'll add a solid border and then click the border color over here and choose the same red color that I um, used for the arrow. And then I can use um, a rectangular shape to kind of highlight the the dollar values. Uh, these are my earnings, um, like so. I can even add like a text box by clicking the T um, key on my keyboard. And I can add something like, this is my monthly um, medium earning. And maybe make it left aligned, make it a little bigger, bolded, like so, and give it a red color to match the other shape colors, uh, shapes and whatever. Anyway, so this is, this is how I would usually go and create a screenshot. Um, so like I said, I, I can, some, sometimes I do it with Photoshop, but sometimes Canva is more accessible to me. Um, because I have like two different laptops, one stays at home, one 
laptop that I carry around uh, when I go out. Um, and I have Photoshop in my home laptop, but I don't have Photoshop on my um, go out laptop. So that's when Canva really comes in um, handy, um, comes handy. And I can use that to create these types of screenshots. So once you're done, just go ahead and download as you would any image. So, so click the download button. If it's for a blog post or something, I'll usually go ahead and choose the JPEG file because it's a smaller file. And you can even manipulate the quality uh, because it's gonna be on the web. So sometimes I can go down to like a medium quality, like 70 or something to keep the file size smaller. And then I will just click download and that's it. That's how you prepare a screenshot using Canva. That's it for today and I will See you with a different video, um, a different time. Bye.